Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading for the month of August. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. I wish, I wish that I can get through this camera into your room, into wherever you are and just give you a hug because I know my Capricorns have been through it during cancer season. Not all of you, but for the most of you that were going through it, you were really, really going through it. So I've been constantly trying to send out positive energy towards you guys. I felt it, it was strong, um, but it's getting better. It is, and it's getting a lot better, and it was not for nothing and for no reason, okay? Capricorn, you got this. I know it's not been been easy, but um, you're stronger than you think you are, and you are also more able to be more sensitive and show up in that energy, and that's allowed, and that's totally fine. And it, I guess it's teaching you in some way, shape or form to just show your more softer sides and your fears maybe. And allowing yourself to say, I'm not okay, you know? I will be, but right now I'm just not okay. And that is okay, because you will be. And uh, trust me, it will get a lot easier to deal with. Here she is again, the Cancer. <laughs> The chariot energy is coming through for you with justice, two major arcanas, and the ace of winter. So I kind of was planning on taking one card from this deck, but you need all the guidance you can get. So we're going to flow with that Capricorn for this month, okay? Let's just breathe. Let's just ground ourselves. Now we know that things are looking up better. You've been through the worst part, okay? You have been through it, so let's see. The chariot. You can successfully balance various and opposing opposing energies all... Oh, sorry. I'm going to restart, okay? Because these letters are small and I need glasses, but I'm still over here in denial, okay? You successfully balance various and opposing energies at once through determining... Uh, sorry, true determination and focus. You've earned the rewards and recognition you are receiving, Capricorn. You will start receiving the recognition you deserve and um, embrace it, allow it to come in. If somebody tells you I'm proud of you, then Capricorn, they are proud of you and let them be proud of you, okay? Whether you're proud of yourself or not. Justice. Fair decision will be made after all the evidence is revealed imperatively imperatively sorry have compassion for others and try to see all sides of the disagreement so sometimes people don't really know what you're going through and you can allow you can expect them to to treat you with a softer energy if they don't know what you're going through and vice versa you don't always know where a person's energy is coming from and try to have compassion and um you know for others and this all the sides to a certain situation and i know this is something you do very naturally capricorn you won't just go in and attack for no reason that's not you so ace of winter implementing of your a brilliant idea may get off to a rocky start but keep going the challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better. So that's why things are procrastinating and not really going the way you wanted to go and you're thinking, oh, my career isn't retrograde, I just can't. No, it's, it's helping you work through something so you might end up on the side road and that side road is your road, okay? Um, you're moving into coming out of trying to search for some justice and trying to see you know where things are fair and you getting something out of all this work you've been putting in have some patience also look at the universe side of things i know we would we like to put it on people like have compassion for that but have compassion for the universe is trying to put things together in the right way in the right timing and have some faith in that as well you are getting your justice things will work out no matter what you're planning, no matter where you want to go, what you want to achieve, things will come in. It is a rocky start, yes, but teaching you instantly 
how to go about these things and teaching you a lot and it will get you will have in the end succeed and you then realize oh well wait now I know why that didn't work out because I was not meant to go that direction and then we put justice back up right okay how cute is this deck by the way it's the animal tarot cards it was a birthday present by the way if you need a personal reading something you feel guided to get from me then i have a discount till the 10th of august that information is down here below before i forget to give you guys a heads up because the list is pretty full already so i wanted to make sure i say it in the beginning of the reading so you get actually get the message okay let's pick up the ethereal vision illuminated tarot deck it's also a present i got two decks for my birthday i got really spoiled okay <laughs> um it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful it's something you're in uh interested in then you know which deck it is okay let's see capricorn capricorn for the month of august it's coming in during leo season for my capricorn I know nine of swords you see that energy you see this what's haunting you Capricorn this is the energy I've picked up for you guys and if you're not in it great now probably other other planets in your chart have helped you get through it and um, you know work from a different perspective but if you're like a real real Capricorn you have to go through this for some reason but Let's see what's coming out. It's fear. It's fear-based energy. It's overthinking. I'm not your fault. I'm not saying, oh, you just have to change this and then it's gone. No, but it is fear-based. And that's for me, it's good to know so we can read and work with that. Then we have the moon. So sort of, some of you are fearing the unknown because you don't, don't really see an outcome. You don't really see things happening or moving into better and calmer waters. So that's what's sort of making you restless. Some of you, it is just restlessness. It's just like, ah, I just don't know. You see, but you are. The moon is coming in. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But um, what I feel with this card, and it's such a beautiful card though, let's see. It's the unknown. Things are coming to light. And I feel the most energy is active in nighttime. But during this new moon, you're going to get your answers. You're going to see straight. You're going to see the road and the pathway. Okay? So I feel it's a new moon in Leo. That's going to happen on, on Tuesday, I think. Tomorrow. And we have then, of course, the new moon in Virgo after that. I feel between those two new moons when this moon cycle things are coming to light and you're gonna get the answers you're needing you're so uh, looking for we have the artist and the artist is an extra major arcana there are two extra cards in this deck that's like only with this deck you have the artist and it's a very beautiful card but i'm gonna read it from the book so you guys actually know the exact meaning from this the artist the artist the artist is a vessel of creation. This card signif uh, signifies mankind and shows when you need to open to the knowledge that is available. If you stop and set aside the distractions of the human conditioning and listen. Visionary, creation and passionate is what is the key words to this card. It's meaning that if you allow yourself to get some higher knowledge coming in instead of all the things we know as mankind as you know society people put on you what's proven to work what's proven to not work and just allow yourself to create from your heart and let your higher self guide you through this you're going to get the knowledge you're seeking like it's all around you the answers are all around you if you if you look for it in a different from a different perspective from a different energy out of the fear into the fate is where the answers will come to you there's an ending coming to this 
situation where you feel like you everything is lost or you just keep losing things like why is everything getting removed from my life it's all happening for a reason Capricorn it really truly is there's your cards okay show me wow 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 powerful okay what's coming out is first of all the six of swords meaning that you're moving into karma what is you're getting the answers you're looking for you're you still have some fears left over but they don't paralyze you anymore you're actually out there moving remember that reading we did a couple months ago with the boat you were in a boat person was like sort of not really knowing if they want to get in a boat with you but you knew that you were going to move whether they were in the boat or out of the boat you got to move they can be half in half out right that's sort of you with your dreams your goals and visions where you're going you can be half in it's all in and i feel that because the nine of swords was connected to the that the queen of pentacles and then the beautiful ace of cups it's feeling connected to where you're going what you're doing and you're soon and like hard times are going to be over you see the death cards coming in doesn't always feel comfortable could be Scorpio I've been dealing with but the Queen of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups some of you are just happy to focus back on your money I you know you're fine you know finding a new foundation and stability maybe you just moved out you're trying to find your own place trying to find you know a different job in a different area maybe you're trying to move states or countries or anything like that you're really just ready to focus on your happiness you want to fill up that cup and I feel that if you find that stability, you want to fill up that cup. If you feel like you're stable again within your own emotional body, and then your physical body, and your spiritual body, sort of connecting all three to, you know, to where you're going, what you're doing, you start to feel a lot better because happiness is around the corner for you. Feeling like your cup is full, overflowing. So here we have the Emperor. You also know that it's you holding the key to all your own happiness and it's also you that can hold yourself away from it. Because in the end of the day, you decide what you desire. If you keep desi desiring things based on what you feel other people would embrace or love on you or with you or about you or things like that you will focus on that when things are coming from the ego i'm not saying ego is bad it's just sometimes it's ego driven which is materialistic driven and sometimes you need more spiritual growth with spiritual knowledge which is not something touchable but it's something that is heartfelt and is making you happy and making you feel aligned and it doesn't sometimes when there are moments in life when you have literally nothing but you are the happiest because you are spiritually um, at home. And I know that's something weird to say to Capricorn, yeah, but like I need like certain things to be right. Well, you might be surprised how less you how little you need actually physically to be happy. So that has nothing to, not that much to do with luxurious things. They can add to the happiness, but they can not create it. Because happiness is not really about adding anything to your life. It's about removing the things that keep you away from your happiness. Hmm. Three of Wands. Ships are coming in. You see? Three of Wands. That's that planning. That's that... forward movements of future looking is that that's the direction this person can look anywhere but they know he knows exactly or she knows exactly where it's coming from is where you put your focus and i feel it's a way more visionary focus it's like i can allow my inner child dreams to come back out almost like my desires Fearlessly dreaming, almost unapologetically claiming your own happiness. 
you really are done with giving it constantly your power to, to a situation, to a person, to a past situation. Beautiful reading, Capricorn. You really are ready to take a hat on. Even though right now you may not feel like that, but we're still in July. Coming into August starts to kick in. You can only cry so many tears until you think, ah, oh, I'm done. Because you're a Capricorn. <laughs> you truly are. Queen of Cups. So, again, water energy coming true for you. The world, Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Yes, yes, and yes, Capricorn, yes. Queen of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, shift, because you, you're walking away from the sadness. You are. You're like, I'm done with this. Been there, been here before, know this drill, know what's happening, know what will come after this, and I'm just over it. I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to take a leap of faith on myself because I deserve to take at least take a shot on me. Beautiful. All these people have something special. And the thing is, it's about getting to the core of it, of knowing that that's what I need and that's it and anything extra is just only taken away from my happiness and I feel that it was all about walking away and releasing things and releasing desires and releasing certain goals and visions that are no longer fitting or no longer connected to your heart's desire and allowing that to let it go even though it's been in your life for a long time it doesn't mean that you can't dream a new dream because it fits the new you the more evolved version of you see it's the four of swords take some time to heal from those things allow yourself to heal just because you've been sad and felt sadness doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you capricorn you're just purging energy you're healing parts where you just kept going and going and going and at one point you have to see look at the wall and break it down and move forward right so a change a shift is coming because you get a glimpse of what it is that you want in your cup and then not, there's no going back there's no going back to these old cups there's no going back to that so by the time the full moon comes around in the month of august you'll see clearly very clearly what it is what it is you need to move away from what it is you want to take on your journey what it is that was hidden and the people that were sort of covered in a certain energy. But justice is coming out. Justice is here for you. And the owl. If you see an owl. An owl is actually my spirit animal. If you see the owl this, um, this month before you start you know when you go to a meeting or things you see just an, an image of it or you see one you know you can actually see one i have that before but it doesn't happen often but sometimes it's in little statues or a little picture somewhere or a photo or an instagram you know stuff like that just know that justice is coming in and justice is being served this was coming true strongly with this card for you guys so they wanted me to give you that message The wheel of fortune, something is changing, but that's a higher power. You don't. You, it's like um, it's not a human form. I'm hearing. It's not a human form that's that's redirecting this. This is a, a angel energy, very strongly guided. Beautiful Capricorn. Okay, I'm so ready for this for you guys. Can can I wait? Because you need this. You need this new energy. I'm gonna get. Um, three extra cards for you guys for the month of August so you have some extra energy coming through mm, let's get the goddess of guidance back I think that's good 
three cards for my Capricorn. Three cards for my Capricorn. Three cards for my Capricorn. There we go. Three. Ooh, I always want to flip them. I gotta focus. Okay, thank your time. Maybe you have a question. Or you have just, you know, want an extra message or guidance, then just connect to the car you feel most connected to. You can pick one, two, or all three, depends on what your intuition is telling you. And uh, let's start, get started with the first one. Ooh, prosperity. Prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance onto you, Capricorn. Be open to receive. So keep some faith. Keep some faith in sometimes we don't know how but how is not up to us it's about what we believe in where we're open for if we remove some of that fear and let some faith in or fill it with some faith it's coming in two independent beautiful card really connect us to the leo energy your independence is a foundation for your strength and your success your independence is your foundation to your strength and your success. Three, home again. I had this. I just had this, the reading before, I uh, did before this, and I haven't seen it in months, and it comes out twice. Your household situation is improving, either through a move or a healthy change of occupants. Beautiful. Balance is coming in. You see that yellow energy? Solar plexus, Leo. <laughs> okay. Mm. So, Capricorn, allow yourself to purge the energy. Don't judge yourself for it. There is nothing wrong with you. You're going through it, I know, but it will get better soon and you will shine like a a pink diamond okay like a diamond i promise you that so stay close to yourself allow yourself to dream some new dreams that is what you feel guided to do meditate but also allow yourself to just feel what you feel and that's the only way to get through it and get into that boat with the six of swords and move into calmer waters I love you guys. Like I said, I have a discount on my personal readings. If you want one, find the information down here below. If you like this reading, maybe consider leaving a like or subscribe to my channel if you want to. Um, Capricorn, I'm going to leave you guys now. I'll be back soon with the love readings. I love you to the moon and beyond. And I'm sending you a big, big hug. I love every single one of you. And um, you're going to be fine. Okay? Bye, Capricorns. Bye.